Marcus Conti reporting on the uh, Julian Assange indictment. All right, so we've seen plenty of images of Julian Assange so far getting dragged out of the uh, Ecuadorian embassy by London police, a violation of international law. He's an Ecuadorian citizen. The British police have no business being there and such, right? So uh, I know a lot of the videos that we're putting up, independent people are putting up, are getting blocked and cock-blocked by mainstream media. Just just bear with it. But I want to look at the actual indictment. Now, I'm no lawyer, but I pretend to be one sometimes. I play one on television. <laughs> but uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting stuff. So uh, we can get a read on this. So this is the indictment. It was filed March 6, 2018. So it was recently. It was filed in uh, Virginia under the Trump administration, right? Under under Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Uh, this is Swamp. The Swamp guys are getting this. In the U.S. State District, I know there's already a theory that, uh, oh, Trump wants to, to bring him to the United States, lock him up, then pardon him. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Uh, so in the United States uh, District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia, uh, the under seal, so it was a sealed indictment, and it was just we just found it out today. The count, one count, conspiracy to commit uh, computer intrusion, 18 U.S.C. 371. So I'm just going to read through some of this stuff. And, uh, but again, it mostly uh, almost all pertains to Chelsea Manning. Chelsea Manning, formerly known as Bradley Manning, was an intelligence analyst in the United States Army who was deployed to forward operating base Hammer in Iraq. Manning held a top-secret security clearance and signed a classified information non-disclosure agreement, acknowledging that the unauthorized disclosure or retention or neglected, uh, negligent handling of classified information could cause irreparable armor, uh, injury to the United States or be used to the advantage of a foreign nation. Executive Order 13526 and its predecessor orders define the classification levels assigned to classified information. All right, so all this stuff is just saying that Chelsea Manning had top-secret clearance to some shit. Number four, Julian Assange was the founder and leader of WikiLeaks website. The WikiLeaks, he was a publisher. Assange, who did not possess a security clearance or need, uh, need to know, was not authorized to receive classified information. Okay, so no crime. It's no crime on the, on the part of Julian Assange. It's a crime on the part of Chelsea Manning, who has been sentenced, prosecuted, prosecuted, sentenced, and pardoned by the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Uh, no crime so far for Assange. Assange, who did not possess a, between in or around January 10 and May 10, uh, May 2010, Manning downloaded four nearly complete databases for, from departments and agencies of the United States. These databases contained approximately 90,000 Afghanistan war-related significant activity reports, 400,000 Iraq war-related significant activity reports, 800 Gitmo Bay detainee assessment briefs, and 250,000 U.S. Department of State cables. Many of these records were classified pursuant to a rule, right? WikiLeaks publicly released the vast majority of the classified record on its website 2010-2011. No crime. A publisher publishing classified information happens all the time. Only because it's in a, in a negative light does it matter. How many times does classified information leak out of Congress? Oh, no, no, a classified document leaks out. That's a crime, right? Isn't that supposed to be the same crime? But no, no, no. Here, here we're, we're prosecuting a publisher. Not even the person that leaked it, but the publisher of the information. On or about March 8, uh, the Pentagon Papers, a great example. The Pentagon Papers were a leak. Uh, on or about March uh, 8, 2018, uh, 2010, Assange agreed to assist Manning in cracking a password stored in the uh, United States Department of Defense computers connected to... S All right, so Manning is assisting... Assange is assisting Manning in cracking a password. Look, it's like this. If a, if a publisher says... A publisher 
if if uh, if someone wants to dump something on me, sends me an email and says, "Hey, what's the best way to give you information?" And I I respond and say, "Well, send it. You know, just email it to me, and I'll take a look at it." Right? Uh, that's that's fair business. That's called the publishing industry. That's called if if someone says, for example, "Well, I don't know how to send that. Uh, I don't know how to send the document to you," and I describe how to send the document to me. That's not aiding and abetting a crime. That's telling someone how to submit your information to a publisher. That's all it is. So far. On or about March 8, uh, Assange agreed to assist Manning in cracking a password. As- agreed to assist. All right, well, there's no crime. Manning, who had access to computers in connection with her duty as an intelligence analyst, was also using the computer to download classified records to transmit to WikiLeaks. Uh, portions of this is all about cracking the password would have allowed Manning to log onto the computers under a user's a username that did not belong to her. Such a measure would have made it more difficult for investigators to identify Manning as the source of the disclosure. Prior to the formation of a password cracking agreement. Manning had already provided WikiLeaks with hundreds of thousands of classified records that she downloaded from the department and agencies of the United States, including Afghanistan war-related significant activities, reports, and Iraq war-related significant uh, reports. The damage was already done, right? So WikiLeaks is, what is he doing? He's trying to give, he's trying to help Manning Get it, get more of the information. So what? It's just talk. For example, on March 7, Manning and Assange discussed the value of Guantanamo Bay detainee assessment briefs. No big deal. It's a publisher discussing published material that they're about to publish material with the source to confirm that the source was valid, to verify the source, not criminal. It's a prosecution of, of, a, of a publisher. That's what it is. Manning also said that after this download, that's all I really have. That's all I really got, got left. Right? So here's the counts. Right, The general allegations set forth in paragraphs 1 through 13 are realleged and incorporated beginning on or about March 2nd and continuing thereafter until on or about March 10, the exact dates being unknown to the grand jury, both... Both dates approximate and inclusive. In an offense begun and committed outside of the jurisdiction of the state of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Assange, who will be first brought to the Eastern District of Virginia, did knowingly and intentionally combine, conspire, confederate, and agree with other cons- co conspirators, known or unknown to the general to the grand jury to commit an offense against the United States. It's just it's just simply not true. It's the freedom what do we have to do? Read the first amendment? The freedom of the speech, freedom of the press shall not be abridged. This is a publisher working as a publisher. You could say whatever you want. A publisher has to be CNN or MSNBC or, or New York Times. That that's okay because the the the, the corporately owned media, that's a conspiracy, that's a, you know, publisher and a guy working out of, you know, a simp- working out of simple means, he's not qualified. It's ridiculous. A, to knowingly access a computer without authority and exceeding uh, authorization access to obtain information that has been determined by the United States government, all right, whatever, right? Okay, to intentionally, these are the, the clauses, but the, the, the fact is, the fact is, as we read on, that Julian Assange did not, in fact, crack anything. And it's, they even say it. He held, he tried to, yeah, I don't know, I'll take a look at it. I don't know. The primary purpose of the conspiracy was to facilitate Manning's acquisition and transmission of classified information related to national defense. We already found out that Manning already gave him most of it or all of it, right? And th- and th- and then they couldn't get the rest of it. So that's the end of it. Uh, a source gives the publisher the information. Done deal. Assange and his co-conspirators 
and his co-conspirators, what co-conspirators? There's nobody else named. Used the following ways, manners, and means, among others, to... See, this is a very, very corrupt, deep state. Whoever's feeding the grand jury this information is probably lying, is making it up, right? They make shit up. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we got the... You know, they, they, they weave a story, and then... What was the famous uh, saying that... that uh, the, a grand jury can indict a ham sandwich. Uh, they can indict anybody. Just you, if it's presented in a way that's believable by people who are supposed to be believable, the FBI, the you know the intelligence agencies, they show up with you know you know twelve lawyers and five you know all wearing perfect suits and suitcases full of documents and say here this is what we got and you get your indictment right. Can you prove it? Well, if they fabricate the information and, do- and the evidence, of course they can prove it because it's fake. So um, what else? Is this? Is this? It, it was part of the conspiracy, a conspiracy to, to help Manning get more of what uh, uh, Manning already gave Assange, right? which amounted to nothing. So they're not saying that Manning was, they're not saying that Julian Assange hacked anything. They're saying that there was an attempt of some sort. And we don't really know that because Manning has not testified. We don't, we don't know that. It was part of the conspiracy that Assange in, encouraged Manning to provide information and records from the department. It's just, it's, just, it's just, there's nothing to this. There's nothing here. It was part of a conspiracy that Assange and Manning used a special folder on a cloud drop box. So? And so what? It's, what? If you hand it to a publisher or you drop it in a box, it's all the same. In order to further the goals and purposes of the conspiracy, Assange and his co-conspirators committed overt acts, including but not limited to... How much more of this? Oh, all right. uh, uh, on March 2nd, Manning copied a Linux operating system to a CD to allow Manning to access a United States... All right, so Manning does the drop, does the download to a CD. On March 8, Manning provided Assange with part of a password stored on, New York, on, on United States Department of Defense computers connected to a uh, secret intern uh, protocol network. All right, so Manning hands the CD to Assange... And Manning hands Assange part of a password. On or about March 10, Assange requested more information from Manning related to the password. Assange indicated that he had been trying to crack the password by stating that he had no luck so far. Right? 25. He had no luck so far. He had no luck. Right? So it's, is it a... Is it a conspiracy to the means by which a source provides a publisher with information, whether it's directly from the source, directly from the source of the source? Is it, does it really matter? And was he successful at hacking something that was, I don't know, that was provided to him through a publisher? Look, this is not... This is a this is prosecution of publishing. That's what this is, right? If if even if convicted, you know, so Assange is worried that he's going to get dragged into the United States, and then they're going to up the ante to espionage. They're going to pile on charges. Under with with this with this administration with Pompeo the liar and Elliot Abrams just to hang Assange, just to hang somebody, right? Uh, it is very possible. Now, is there a motive for, for, for Trump to, to uh, let Assange go and reveal that there was no Russian collusion whatsoever, that, that, you know, that somehow it ties into the DNC stuff, right? right? Is there some kind of deal where Julian Assange now is in open court and he says, look, the DNC was, was Seth Rich. Maybe he says a name or something. Right? That, that is a fishing expedition that the administration could come up with. But in this on face value, what what Manning, what 
Assange is being dragged to the United States to face is, is very circumstantial and does not, it doesn't indicate that he was a, 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 a hostile adversary, right? He was a publisher, right? And does it tie into the latter work of Julian Assange? Are they going to try to, you know, extort that information out of him about who hacked the DNC? Who really did it? Was it a hack? Who, who leaked that information? Was it Seth Rich? Was it somebody else inside the DNC? Was it Russia? No. We shall find out. So, I mean, this is a hell of a way of finding out, but Julian Assange is, uh, he's in some shit right now. He's definitely in some shit. He's going to face, uh, he'll, he'll probably breeze through the, the British stuff, you know, get time served or maybe 30 days in the hole, whatever. Sweden, Sweden is not going to happen, and he's going to get extradited here and by, by the end of the month. Uh, or he's going to have a hearing in England, an extradition hearing at the end of uh, this month to be extradited here to the good state of Virginia. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting.